everybody, it's me, Sheepover, and I'm here to say liking traps isn't gay. It's me, Asperger. You gotta, you, you gotta speak up for you that gotta Asperger. Bit, you gotta bit for that. If you're doing an Asperger you impression, you gotta fucking scream nonstop. Yeah. Hey, it's me, Asperger! <laughs> Hey everybody, Sheep's here for um, either a full episode or five minutes. She has to get back to work. I don't know why I'm here. She came in to grab her laptop that I stole, and uh, now I want her to answer the question that I can't answer. What? Unsubscribe wants to know. And you're an artist. You like, you know, you you, you draw shit. You're a fucking artist. Yeah. You made my profile picture. You yeah, you you illustrated a full book that I'm I a cannot. Fraud. Um, a full book that I don't remember the you're name not a of. Fraud. You were paid. You were officially a professional. I gave you the prize money. I suck at so, art. So, but the question is just for artists in general. If you were given a one million dollar budget, what art piece, what art thing, project would you want to make? Do you have anything that you your dream million dollar project? It's being funded oh my God. by I guess. Um, Asperger's rich father who gives him a fifteen hundred dollar a week. Uh, no, that's not true at all. You fucking god. <laughs> Wait, really? No. Yeah, yeah. His his dad's like a, a judge who gets like pension for Jesus being a judge Christ. and a police officer, and he gives Burger fifteen hundred dollars a week. I thought he hated Burger. Well, yeah, he gives the son that he likes twenty five hundred dollars. Oh a week. my god. Shut the fuck it's up. It's not. It's not a thing about money. It's a thing about time. It's like, I can't really think of anything Well, that... if you're given a million dollars, you could probably take some time yeah, off of work, Yeah, I would take, right? like, two years off okay. and become the well, best rapper of all I time. Um, yeah, but what would you make, is the question. I... She would fix the Obamacare website. <laughs> Her <laughs> white whale. Because <laughs> she builds websites, <laughs> yeah. I get it. Nah, I wouldn't do anything like that. Is <laughs> the website still broken? <laughs> yes! I thought Trump shut that shit down. Oh, I know what I'd do. I think I'd, I'd try to learn Unity and make like a big mobile game. Like a big one. Oh. Maybe hire like some programmers who are uh, better than me. Oh, she'd go the financial richness yeah. route. What kind oh, of, she'd try and grow What kind of game money. are you going for? Sheep I don't know! The, sheep over the game part two? Sheep yeah, over the well, RPG. Yeah, you yeah, can make like a little. You can make like a little girl, a, like a little all ages game about yeah. like sheep and the adventures of sheep so on she the farm. You gotta collect stuff. I'm all about that. I thought for the next sheep game we were gonna do a, a sheep visual novel like. Um, well, yeah. Dibs on the music. That's what we should do. You sh yeah, you should. Cause and we can make it funny. I will make it the cutest fucking well, bubbly music. Oh. Ever. The idea I had was like. I you wanna do that. Cause all those visual novels are usually those dating sims, right? Where yeah. Like, I, I wanted it to be. Those are fun though. But, but like instead of a dating sim, sheep over is trying to make a friend. And it's like a make a friend sim, and you talk to all the different animals on the farm. I think so. That'd what's be funny. what happens at the end? You get like a best you, friend. You fucking die. Well, because the the <laughs> the sad plot of Sheepover is that no matter what she does, she's still like this lonely loser. So I don't think she would make a friend, because <laughs> her only friends are her stuffed animals <laughs> she, who talk with her voice because she, she just, doesn't realize that they're not real. She's just gonna sabotage all her friendships. Yeah, probably because she's so self centered and and she thinks that she's the best that she'll scare everybody. It's like away. Final Destination. You don't tell them that the the fucking truck is backing up on your friend. Oh. Yeah, you watched Sleepy Sheepy die. You she was murderer. Joking. You ate. You ate your. I brother. thought she was gonna yeah, get up. No, she ate brother. her own father. You ate her own father. Well, <laughs> who served her that I know, hero? Hey, look, it's Big the Cat. Me. Was it the Euro? Easter or, egg boys. Or the Haggis. Is this the game where Aaron tried to fish with that big fat fuck for an hour? <laughs> no, no, that, that was the first one. They took him out because that was the worst thing they could have ever done in any Sonic game. <laughs> was fishing mini game? Yeah, it it was fucking terrible. So how's this game? What? How is this game? Oh, I haven't even been paying it's attention right. to it. I've just been talking over uh, Burger. It, it didn't age as well, but it, it's pretty fun. Okay. So this isn't one of like the hated ones? No, this is actually probably the, the most beloved. This is the only you beloved guys, you should 3D play a, one. You should play a shitty Sonic game. It'd be funnier. No, because Burger wanted to play a game, game that he's good uh, at to prove yeah. that he's so good. No, I'm just, I just want to play a game that I can completely just talk over. Yeah. And after this, I'm gonna make him play bully so that yeah. he can relive oh, his childhood yeah. uh, trauma, being bullied by his own parents. Is that a let's play or a stream? <laughs> oh, we were talking about Burger's roommates and he got embarrassed. So, what, what, what was your impression of his roommates? I, well, I didn't get embarrassed. I just... Shut up! You always talk over women. I never do. <laughs> Sheep, go. Are you about to? No. What? You trying to Is read the, the bit? <laughs> Please, everybody, just let sheep talk. I really liked that. Burger, why were you interrupting? Oh, God damn it, I really I, I finished the sentence. <laughs> God damn it. Talk slower. When keeping it cool goes okay. wrong. You really liked, you really liked his, his roommates. Yeah, they're cool. Okay, well, there you go. They're nice and funny. You ever thought of an autobiography, Sheep? I think it would be pretty short. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would it be short? She's, because she's just like, yeah, they're pretty cool. She lived a, a full, rich life I of many cool. stories and tales. Like, meeting Monkey Jones, having a hamster, so many things to talk about. <laughs> That's it.
Hey. <laughs> what? I'm say it's exciting. I did stuff. I moved across the country. Oh uh, yeah, imagine doing that for a <laughs> fucking girl. I'd rather kill myself. Uh, you moved half. Half? Not the full. Bullshit. She already wants half. <laughs> <laughs> If anything, I'd be taking half from her. I've got nothing to give. What are you talking about? What the fuck would I give? The woman always wins in court. Oh, she's gonna win what? Half of a monkey mask and a sex doll. Half and your subscribers. Yeah. She's gonna get two. Yeah, you two gonna transfer. She's gonna subscribers. get two and a half of my five uh, body pillows that I got in the mail. Oh, awesome. I don't want that oh. shit. Wow, what a great divorce win. Don't yeah. worry, don't worry. You know how like some people ruin things before they give it to their their spouse? I'll I'll, I'll put Junkie to good use. Oh, I'll spend a weekend with Junkie. Junkie's Junkie. broken. Uh, do you think you can find the leak? Because he's got a leak, and we have to blow him up for every single video now. I will come now. inside it until we see where it's leaking out of. We've looked head to tail. Yeah. Literally, because he's a monkey. We cannot find this fucking leak, and he keeps deflating between videos now. And it's it's infuriating. And didn't you try to find a new one? A new sex doll? I, I found the identical thing that I got in the mail for the original Junkie, but it's 40 fucking dollars. And Burger shorted me twenty dollars on my chair. I so can give you the twenty dollars. I'm sorry. I legit thought I could find it. No, I can't even Funny afford you a new junkie. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do need to send you okay. yours. <laughs> yeah, I complete. I just blank on he this. He owes out. both of us like eighty dollars yeah, combined now. Like this I, I, fuck, there, there was, there was some deal. happenings. He owes us at least a hundred dollars at this point. He he never paid us for for know. Ren's portion of the fucking pecking duck in New York. Yes, Fucker I did. Owes us hundreds of dollars. Yes, I did. I think you did. Yeah, I did. He owed us two servings. He only paid for one. I know. I paid for both. Bullshit. I think they I got paid, their own... I paid after I got I got back from New York. Oh. I thought they got their own check. He owes. He we let him sleep on the hardwood floor of our Airbnb. He never paid for the lodging. Mm -hmm. we, that that I did. We not didn't pay. even give you him don't a have pillow. You to pay for that. We. <laughs> he just. I slept on your fucking. He falls floor. asleep face down on the fucking hardwood floor when there are pillows and literally oh, carpet yeah. to the left of him. He will purposely sleep on the hardwood floor. Why? How? For what purpose? He thinks it's what he deserves. These are questions that don't <laughs> have projected. answers. Where the fuck is the thing? It's saying that it's here. Look how silly this is! I can't get off! <laughs> I can't get off! I can't get Look how silly this is! I bet is. you've never said that to Jackie. <laughs> I can't get off! Oh, I'll help. I'm Jackie's. <laughs> is that what Jackie says? Oh! No, here's my, here's my best Jackie impression. Oh, Jade, oh. it's time to find the talisman. Oh. Welcome back to Jackie Chan yeah, Adventures. I got it. I got it. Yeah, is that your Where the fuck is it? It's it's like <laughs> What are you looking for? A key? Yeah, but it's a key. It's not mm -hmm. fucking What is it under me? Sheep, are you going to go back to work? How long are these episodes? 15 minutes. How long you can just been? leave. How long has it been? We've been going for 8 it's minutes been, now. Yeah. You got any other uh Topics, um, I, I mean, I never answered the question myself, but I can let you answer another one. What's the worst movie you've ever seen, boys? Drive! Fucking Drive! Oh, with Ryan Gosling. Drive with Ryan Gosling. Are you serious, it's Sheep? A, it wasn't that no. bad. It's, 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 the, the, worst. Worst. it's the worst It's not the movie. worst it's movie! It's the worst movie I've ever seen. You're full it's of shit. It's the worst, theater. It's the worst wor theater experience I've ever had. We've seen worse uh, movies for Is It Kino? And you've only been on like three of those episodes. You think Show Dogs was better than Drive? Yes. You, what the fuck? Because I could actually laugh at Show Dogs, and I had a very enjoyable- You weren't supposed to laugh at Drive. Yeah, I know. But no, but I'm saying there was zero enjoyment for Drive. It was boring. There was no dialogue. It was wet. It was. That's like the, the definition music? of Al the music Edge. Guy? No, I don't like the. That's that shit sounded like that was all they could afford, like royalty-free '80s music. Let me prove to you mm -hmm. why Drive is not the worst movie ever made, because immediately after he. It's made the worst movie I've ever seen. Well, let me let me tell you how it can be much worse. Immediately after. Um, uh, Refn, I think is his name, and Gosling collaborated again on a movie called Only God Forgives, where they took all the worst parts of Drive, and that's the entire movie. I think it was an experiment if he could make a feature-length film with a six-page script of dialogue, and he fucking did it. And it's, it's literally probably the worst movie I've ever seen in theaters. Much worse than Drive in every possible way, because it takes the most boring, horrible, just... Ryan Gosling sitting there not saying anything, staring into space. It, it's magnetized. A eightfold. Horrible. Oh, I'm gonna make you watch Only God Forgives and you'll think that Drive is like Fast and the Furious in comparison it with how exciting like, uh, it is. Last night's Better Call Saul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. S season 4, Episode 4 of Better Call Saul took a page from the Only God Forgives book of nothing happening and being boring. It it's says awful. there's a fucking condor egg and like I need that fucking right, I'm going egg. To 
Okay. Wait, what's my, the worst movie sheep. you've ever seen, Sheep? You're not going anywhere. Oh. You, you didn't even answer, bitch. The worst, uh... Other than Monkey Jones stops is cool, Sheep. Yeah, that's the best movie. Oh. Um... Fuck, I don't know. Where the fuck is a condor's egg? It's in here. Wait, is it? Is it? I guess I'd say uh, uh, music and lyrics is the worst movie I've ever seen. The fuck is music it's a, and lyrics? It's an old like uh, rom com with Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. It's very bad. Is she the one who had fifty first dates? Yeah, that's her. Oh, there. Wait, where'd it go? Okay, thanks, Chief. We'll talk All to right. you later. Bye, Bye. Chief. <laughs> yes, finally. Jesus Christ, it took me forever. All right. People are gonna people are gonna be like, this hurts my brain in the comments. <laughs> Speaking of horrible movies, what I would do with a million dollar budget is I would actually try to make a movie and I would take it seriously and it would probably be a massive financial and critical failure. Not sure what it would be about. Well, the, the thing you got to do is you got to you got to understand your budget because I was a fan of the Angry Video Game Nerd back when he started. And he always said he wanted to make a movie and I was actually <laughs> genuinely excited yeah. for the movie. And that shit was absolute the fact that he built his entire foundation called cinemassacre and that he reviews movies and that he calls himself a movie buff and he's always bragging about oh i've made 180 movies since i was a kid for him to make <laughs> but, that but his idea budget, of a movie is any video that no no like legit movies he no doesn't, he doesn't count his angry video game yes thing yes movies. he does he uh he and he says anything he's ever made counts as a movie even if it's uh, a three minute thing he made as a but kid even even so whatever web movie if he had 180 full length movies he would have posted them by now yeah he they're they're all on Cinemassacre. They're, no, those aren't fucking movies. Well, you know what he, I mean. Short counts, films, and, yeah, Any fuck. video he counts as a movie. But regardless of my fucking point. Okay. You fucking film buffs are all the same. For him to Film say, buff? You think I'm a film buff? Yes. You think I'm E-Rich reading the LA Times, jerking myself off, calling myself a fucking film buff? That, that, you think I'm a pretentious buff. faggot who thinks I I know what true film is and you're all just um, a bunch of uh, cape shit cowards who wouldn't know a true cinematic experience piece of Kino if does it stared e you in the face? Does e actually call it cape shit? Because no, I don't if think e so. E-Rich is on the cape shit camp, but he likes the you know last what? Jedi, then I need to fucking you know, kill him. E-Rich liked it when we called him last time. Then I, 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 need to, I need to put a bullet into his skull if he thinks cape shit is cape shit, but he likes the last Jedi. We called him during Chip's challenge. He said, never call me again. <laughs> Let's call him and ask him if he unironically thinks of it as cape shit. I don't think he does, because we review cape shit all the time, and he doesn't call it that. Well, anything but Black Panther, of course. Oh, <laughs> you know, that's, that that, was the greatest that, that's film pure cinema. <laughs> you know what sucks is the f we reviewed it three times, and the first time he said it was shit, and then the second time he liked it. No, the, the articles weren't out yet. Yeah, yeah I, I really wish we would have stuck to that first review. Hello. Yo, E-Rich. Yeah. Hey, it's just me. Nobody else is here. Nobody else can hear this. I, I wanted to ask you a Fuck question. Fuck you, Asperger. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, well, I didn't call you. I wasn't even bringing you up. He's the one who whipped out his phone. Well, we're trying to figure out if you are a, a self-asserted cinephile, and I want to know, do you unironically think of superhero movies as cape shit, or can you uh, acknowledge them as art? Most of them are cape shit, but they can be art. E-Rich? <laughs> E-Rich? If those are cape shit, then what do you call Last Jedi? <laughs> it, it's Jedi One shit. One of the best movies of all time. Hang up. Just hang up. <laughs> Goodbye, e -Rich. Sorry uh, to bother you. He hung up on me. I am fucking done. <laughs> uh, you know, the? Uh, do you watch the Mr. Plinkett reviews? Uh, I saw it just came out today. Yeah, he put up the review for Last Jedi, and I told E-Rich, and he said he's not even going to watch it. Oh, why? Because it's not part of the narrative? Yeah, because Mr. Plinkett is shitting on it, and he doesn't want to watch a full oh video. Because he loves the Plinkett reviews, and he can't stand to watch a so full video. So he loves video. the Plinkett reviews, but not, but not but if because it's about it, a movie Yeah, it's he an likes. opinion he disagrees with, so he doesn't even want to watch Fucking it. Fucking A. How do you live in sense? Because cause he might see some, like, ideas that aren't the same as his. He might actually reflect on the film's flaws in a way, and he doesn't want to be exposed to I want, different opinions. I want to be the principal of whatever... Erich's school is, <laughs> and I want to not tell him the lesson plan and have him teach, and then he will know how Poe Dameron felt. Well, it would subvert his expectations for sure. <laughs> uh, the, the Plinkett review was actually really good. 
Um, it, you watched all like 40 minutes of it no, already? It, it's an hour long. I, that's the first thing I did when I woke up, is I watched yeah. it. Because I saw it, and I, I saw it when it had like 4,000 views, I'm like, oh shit, that's going to blow up. And then I looked at it like 20 minutes later, and it had like 40,000, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Uh, but why I wanted to point out that this one's actually good is because his episode 7 review was... I heard it, it was it, terrible. It was, it was pretty much dog shit. Yeah. But uh, he's back to proper Plinkett form with the Last Jedi review. He actually rips the movie to shreds in a way um, that is humorous. And uh, it's not fucking boring like the episode 7 review. But yeah. we were talking about AVGN, and I guess we'll finish that uh, next time. And I I'll, I still got to clarify what movie I would make for a million dollars. This one unsubscribe question has really given us a lot of... Uh, yeah, we're he's, really he's a good boy. He's it. a good boy. He is a good boy.